Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have uh, several 9-volt batteries, just standard 9-volt batteries. And I've always wanted to know what are inside these. So we're going to find out today. So these aren't new batteries. Uh, they have been used. I don't want to destroy new batteries, but they should have a little bit of voltage in there. Uh, let's see, about 8 volts it's saying right here, so it does have a little bit, but 8 volts won't hurt you. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with this Energizer battery. Okay, so I did put some gloves on mainly just for sharp edges, not really for the electricity. But we'll just use these little snips here at uh, these little uh, contact areas just to kind of snip off the edges, kind of holding us down. So we'll just kind of go around. I think I got the top open. Let's see if we can pull this thing out. And here we go. And so there you go. You can kind of see what's going on here. It looks like there are six different uh, batteries in here or cells. Uh, my guess is they're uh, all equal to 1.5 volts, probably, uh, well, now that's 8 volts, it would be less than 1.5 volts. But let's continue to try to dismantle this. There's a little bit of cardboard here. Or maybe this is, oh, there, there we go. We got the top off. And you can see here, let's see if I can snip this off like that. And you can see right here, uh, it looks like the negative contact is on one end and it looks like I snipped off the positive contact which is on this side. So I did uh, tear it apart, but let's make sure that if I touch the voltage from top to bottom, sure enough, we still get that eight volts. So clearly that's how that's constructed. have here. Okay, it looks like this is the top cell right here that's kind of stuck together. These are very well in there, but you can kind of see that the cells are basically just stacked like this. Uh, they're pretty much fused in this plastic, so it's very difficult to get them out. Okay, so zooming into this, you can kind of see that each one of these cells is separated by some kind of a, uh, it's kind of a powdery, pasty substance. Now that could be the electrolyte or just a separator between the cells. I'm not an expert of, of how these are made. So, and then you get this kind of um, metallic component here and some plates. So each one looks like it's constructed equally. Uh, I did test the individual ones. I didn't really get any um, uh, voltage off, off them. So uh, clearly I probably destroyed the contacts, but this is how nine volt battery is constructed. So let's go ahead and open up one of the other ones and see if they're the same. So let's go ahead and try the Amazon basics next. Well, this looks a little bit different. Let me see if I can get this off. Oh wow, this is considerably different. So this looks like it's more like almost traditional AAA batteries uh, stacked together. And you can see, let's take this top one. You can see the negative and positive terminals there. And they're just basically in series with six, I. I they're almost the size of AAA batteries. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. And there you go. It's just in series, six individual cell batteries. So I didn't take the voltage of these before I tore it apart, but um, I think they're probably close to what the other one was. Now it should be if I record the voltage of these in series, I should get a voltage reading, and sure enough, I get uh, about seven and a half volts. And so the seven and a half divided by six should give me about uh, 1.2, 1.3 volts. So let's see if I snip one of these off.
and measure this independently. Sure enough, 1.254 volts. So this is basically just like, I don't know, like a one and a half volt uh, AAA battery. And so I do have a standard AAA battery here, as you can see here, and you can see it's not exactly like a AAA, it's a little smaller, but uh, it is a little shorter. And clearly the AAA is wider, but uh, they hold about the same amount of voltage. I don't see any writing on this, so uh, it doesn't really identify anything, but basically it's like a smaller version of a AAA battery. Okay, so this is the last one I'm gonna open up today. Uh, it's an Ikea brand, uh, so let's see what this looks like. So already I have noticed that the Ikea brand, uh, the outer casing is a lot thinner. It's almost like a kind of a metallic paper. And then you do have, actually it's protected by a plastic outer casing. I'm thinking this might be more similar to the Energizer, but let's take a look. Nope. Oh. This looks like another kind of, kind of a AAA battery version here. And sure enough, there you go. Another six series of this kind of smaller AAA version uh, battery. Uh, do I see any writing on this one? Yeah, it just has a few numbers on there. Some of them are actually, it looks like there's a U. Uh, maybe there's an upside down U8030. I'm not sure what all, any of that means, but that's the only writing on these particular uh, little cells. And so there you go. Now you know what is in a nine volt battery. It looks like there's a, at least a couple of designs, these little series pseudo AAA battery types, and then these kind of stacked uh, cell batteries. So I don't know if there's any other kinds out there, but uh, these are three versions. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.